Thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I made these personalized water bottles. So make sure you stay tuned. Okay, so now we're in Cricut Design Space and we're going to start a new project. So I'm going to go over to Uploads and upload the images that I've already uploaded. So here I'm just going to choose my first image. And then I'm going to go back to Uploads, if I can find it. I'm going to go back to Uploads and choose my second image. And I'm just going to add it to the canvas. So here, I'm just gonna um, hide that one for now because we're gonna work with this one. And I'm gonna choose my size, which is four in width and 6.5 in height. Okay, so for this design, it's gonna be two different colors, black and holographic. So I'm gonna hide everything that's not gonna be holographic. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the image and change it to this purple color. That's just letting me know that it's going to be a different color from the other parts of the image. And now I'm going to go down and weld it. So to make this easier on a beginner, I'm just going to go back and pick up the same image and add it to the canvas. So now that the image is on the canvas, I'm going to size it the same way I did the first one, 4 in width and 6.5 in height. So now I'm going to do the opposite of what I did in the first image. I'm going to clear away the lines and the droplets. So I'm going to hide them all. So now here I'm just going to click on the image and weld it. And then I'm going to take it over to the first image just to see if it's going to be placed right. So now let's move along to the second image. Okay, now I'm just going to unlock it and size it to 5.5 in width and 2 inches in height. And now I'm going to create an offset around it, which is 0. 056 and now I'm going to click apply so now I want to change the color of the offset to the same color as the droplets on the first image it's going to be a holographic color too Okay, so now that our design is complete, I got four water bottles, so I'm gonna duplicate each image three times.
And now that we're done duplicating, we're gonna go ahead and hit make it. And now here is just showing us how, how the layout is gonna be on the vinyl. So usually what I do is, if the images are too close together, I'll move them apart to make it easier if I wanna cut the image out as I'm weeding. So this is me just moving the images kinda away from each other so they won't be so close. And with permanent vinyl, you don't have to mirror the image. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it now that everything is laid out properly. And here it says poster board for the material. That's why I always set my dial to custom to remind me of what I'm cutting in the current project. So I'm using premium vinyl and I'm going to go ahead and hit make it. And this is some premium vinyl that I got from Hobby Lobby on sale. I bought it because it was really pretty and I wanted to see how it would hold up. So now I'm just going to open it and apply it to the, um, to the cutting mat. So now I'm going to use my brayer just to get a nice firm grip to the mat. It has those lines in it because I kind of bent it when it was in the bag, but it should be okay. So now my Cricut is ready. The low indicator light is showing up, so that's letting me know it's ready for me to load the cutting mat in and now I'm going to hit the cut button Now that cut is done, now I'm gonna move over and prep the second mat. And this is some more vinyl that I got from Hobby Lobby that was on sale. So now I'm just gonna open it and apply it like I did the first one. Now we're moving on to the third and fourth mat, which is the black vinyl. And I'm just going to apply it like I did the other two.
Okay, now these are some water bottles that I got from Hobby Lobby. They were only $8.99. I felt that was a really good deal and you get four and they have the string attached. But I don't really care for the string that's on there because I don't, that color does not go with my color scheme. But I did find a way to alter that little string on the side. This is me just inspecting the water bottle. And I realized that the string can be taken out. That was a really cool effect. I know eventually I'll probably add my own string to it. But today we're just focusing on putting the vinyl on the bottles. So I'll give you guys a quick update later when I do change the string out. But for now, we're going to keep it in. And it's easy to put back in. It just snaps back in. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the alcohol and clean the outside to just to get the extra oils and lint and stuff off to make it easier for the vinyl to stick. Now it's about that time to start weeding. It's my weeder that I'm going to use. And y'all, when I saw that, I knew what type of day it was going to be. When I say this vinyl was so hard to weed, I said never again would I buy the sheets of permanent vinyl because it took up so much time to do every little part like that and I got four mats to go hmm never again So I didn't really get to show me weeding out every one, but I am showing you guys how I weeded out one, one mat of it.
Okay, y'all, finally, I'm finally done weeding out everything. And when I say it took so long, I was getting so frustrated, but I made it through. <laughs> okay, with that being done, now we gotta move on to the transfer. Let's see how the transfer works. And actually, I got some strong grip transfer tape. So we gonna see how this plays out. Okay, so now that I have them all off the mat, I'm going to cut them individually. Okay, now here's my transfer tape. I got some Cricut Strong Grip Transfer Tape. Usually the Cricut Transfer Tape is really good, especially the Strong Grip. So we're going to see how this goes. So now I'm just gonna peel the backing off the piece that I cut. 
because the plastic goes on top of the image, goes on top of the vinyl. So now I'm just gonna apply the transfer tape on top of the on top of the vinyl. Okay, and so did y'all peep the mistake I made? Look at that. I'm missing the M off the AM. The weeding process was terrible. I'm surprised I got as much as I got, so I'm grateful for that. I'll make the M later. So now that I am using my scraper, it looks like we got action. Yep, we got action. Thank God. Woo. So now this is a parchment paper method. I, I don't usually use it. I use it sometimes because I'm really good at kind of eyeballing. So here I'm just laying the parchment paper on the sticky part of the first image. And now I got the second part of the image where I'm just layering it to see if it's falling in the right place. And once it's in the right place, I'm gonna peel the parchment paper from the backing of the first image. And it laid perfectly. So now I'm just gonna use my scraper so both designs could be as one So now I'm going to add parchment paper to the back of the design and stick just the top part of the transfer tape to the top of the bottle so I can see if it's an even lay. And once I know it's even, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the parchment paper. And here I'm adding slits to all sides of the transfer tape, just so the transfer tape can lay on the round edges of the bottle. So now I'm gonna peel off the, the parchment paper so I can lay the image on the bottle how I want it. So now that it's laid, I'm going to go ahead and use my scraper. I don't know why I just tried to peel that off. Sometimes it will peel straight off, but with this bad vinyl, I, I know I'm going to have to use my scraper. So it took me a while to do that. I can't even lie, y'all. This vinyl gave me a full-blown headache. I mean, it was hard to weed. Now it's hard to transfer. Like, 
I, I don't even understand. And I'm using strong grip transfer tape. Maybe if I would have used the light grip or the standard grip, but I don't know. This vinyl just wasn't. It was cute, but it it is not man. It, it's not beginner friendly. I tell you that. Y'all, by this time, I'm just so over that vinyl, but the show must go on. So I'm going to use some transfer tape to transfer the top part of the name. And now here I'm just going to layer it on the offset part of the name. And now I'm just gonna lay it on the opposite side of the bottle. And now I'm just scraping it on so it can stick to the bottle. When I tell y'all this was a difficult project and it's all because of that pretty old on sale vinyl that I got from Hobby Lobby. Thanks a lot Hobby Lobby. Woo, child, we done. It is very pretty, but it took a whole lot of work. Okay, y'all, this is the final look. Okay, they turned out very cute. But, honey, the amount of work that I put into these, they better had came out cute. Or it was going to be a whole problem. But on a more positive note, I made these just so I can be more encouraged on drinking my water every day and minding my business. So, so if you wanna see more videos on vinyl, make sure you click the playlist on the screen. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, you, you can share this video too. All right, bye.